Hi everybody, this is Tom from Clean Right. Today we're going to go over the do's and don'ts with a high security coin box. We have two different styles. One's just a standard coin box, the other one's high security. It is a high security box because it has plug locks in it. Take the plug locks out, use your T handle or Allen wrench, tip it forward, pull it out. Now if you notice on the bottom of the faceplate itself it actually has three pins that interlock into the box so there's no way to pry from the bottom, no way to pry from the top. Now the little thing we did with this is we actually gave you a third hand. You have a hanging bracket that you can hang it up on the side now and do whatever you have to do to it and the leads are long enough to reach to the back. The advantages over the high security box and the standard box is this is made out of seven gauge, seven gauge stainless. It's very hard to bend it, warp it. This coin box can be pretty well done on any kind of configuration, any kind of mech, any kind of timer. This is our standard one, M800 Dixmore timer, 1612 Mars validator. Very dependable, very reliable. Rotary switch, you can get them with push buttons, but rotary switch is my preference. Same with the bottom. The bottom is made out of a heavier gauge stainless than the original coin box is. It has the American lock in the bottom of it. It's a pretty good beefy piece of metal. You're not going to bust it. You're not going to pry it. And it's locked in the pin on the inside. There's other options to go with this too. You can actually put a security bar over the top of this box and the original box, or our standard box, which makes it that much harder to get into. Which is made out of quarter inch stainless. You're not going to bend this either. Put an American lock on the end of it. On the high security box, in my opinion, it's not needed. But if it makes you feel better, you put it on. It's one more deterrent. It's one more thing that looks hard, looks beefy. Less chance of maybe making the attempt to do it.